Good evening viewers. I have the 2008 Ford Explorer here. This is my wife SUV. So she took it to the car wash and um ever since our power mirror is not working, right? And even it should work right now with the ignition off the keys out of it as you can see here. It should move and do its thing. It doesn't do anything. So we're going to find out what's going on with it. I have my fuse box um, panel here. And um, let's put the key in the ignition. The vehicle has 165,000 miles on it. So let's put our window down. And we're going to try it again to see if it moves. Nothing. So let's go do our basics, look for um, the fuse. So I have all data. Um, so it is um fuse, let's read it. Okay, it is fuse 32 right here. It is a five and fuse. So we're going to check it to see um, what it looks like. With the schematic fuel study tools right here we're going to go right after it to see what what it does it's the five and fuels i have the hood open here is our fuse box so we're going to pop it open and fuel study tool it is somewhere down here so it should be that one here. It's a five and fuse. Let's take it out to see what it looks like. I think that's the only five and fuse in here, by the way. Yep, it's in good shape. Let's put it back in. All right. So now, what we're gonna do, we're going to take, um, I'm going to take out um, the switch to see what it does. And I'm also going to pull out my power probe. Um, if you guys don't have that tool, uh, I highly suggest you buy this. It is a very good tool to find electrical problem. And, um, but you need to know how to use it first, okay? But if you don't have something like this, you can use it with the voltmeter, which I have. I'm going to use this to find uh, the fault, what's going on, if we have power, if we have ground. That's what we need in order for this to work, is power and ground. So let's do it. So we're going to plug it right here in the cigarette lighter. You guys hear a beep. Back the voltage and ground. We're going to pop that off using a screwdriver like this and this use the switch it look pretty good i don't see anything weird going on so we're going to pull our wiring diagram to see which one of those wires are you know i'm assuming there's gonna be a power in ground and probably um communications and stuff so here is our wiring diagram so what we're looking for is um there is a wire that comes directly from the fuse box here it is a violet and red wire and the black wire here it is the ground side okay um let me scroll down it is the ground side here it's like ground g300 i don't know where that is it's somewhere in the engine bay and there is um the power wire which is a violet and red so what we're gonna do we're going to unplug the switch right and found our violet and red okay here is our violet and red wire we're going to check it to see if we have power and the black wire we need to see if we have ground okay so let's unplug it to unplug it you do this there you go. 
So if it's doing what it says it does, right? If we have power, we're gonna hear a beep, right? A beep, we will flash red, meaning that we have power. Let's go. So we have ground on the black wire here. We have ground. So we're gonna put it in the violet and red tracer. We're not getting anything out of it. So that's our problem. We're not getting power out of it. That should be live at all time. As you guys see here, you see hot at all time. It should be live. Meaning whether the key is on or not, you should have 12 volts flowing to that wire at all time. Okay? That's our problem here. So we're gonna have to see where that wire goes. Um, Cause it happened after the car wash. Um, so probably water, get inside the truck, and um, something along those lines happened. So I can, um, I'm going to find that wire here to see if we have power here. It is a violet and red, here, as you guys see here. I popped that off, so I'll just remove the boot, right? And you push those that tab here, and there is one at the bottom too. And you just pull them out, okay? And when you pull them out, there is a connector that's inside um, the door uh, body that you have to pull out. So we're going to see if we have power here. If it's if we have power there, that means there is something going on inside the door panel, okay? But if we don't. That, that will indicate that there is this problem going on from here going to the engine bay okay I hope not I hope it's something here I'll just take out the fuse um, take out the door panel and find that wire and repair it and good to go okay so let's try to pull our connector here so I was able to check that wire here at the connector so um, they got no power there. So that means the problem is not from the door to there, okay? It says something going on between this to the fuse box up front, okay? All right. So now I was at connector C311 here, that one at the door. So I'm gonna have to go to this connector here, C300. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here because to find that connector, it is under the seat, obviously. Um, I found the wire. Is this wire here? That's bad. When I supply power to it, the mirror works. So uh, I, I don't have enough tools with me. I'm, uh, I'm home and um, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, let me try to show you what I'm talking about. It is a violet and red wire. That's the violet and red wire here. So, in case you guys didn't know, this vehicle was for a fire department. The fire chief used to drive it. He had light all around. So I think that's where all those wires come from. They did pretty, they pretty much did a Mickey Mouse job in here. Um, before, they, before they threw it in. Um, I bought it like six years ago. This, this is not normal. The, all of these things here, they're not normal. That's not why right. that, that they, they don't come like that from Ford. I doubt. I really doubt it. I don't think it comes like that from the factory. Look at this here. Um. So yeah, let me circle back. So when I supply power to the violet and red wire here, I have um um I have ground there. So when I supply power to it, the me will work. Let me show you. Yep. You see here? If I supply power to it, the mirror will work. Right? Um so yeah, that's where we are. When I supply power to it, the mirror works. Um I unplug it obviously. So it is not working right now. Whatever's going on is under the seat. There is a big connector here. I need to. I have to get access. I need to get access to it, and for that, I'll have to remove the seat. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.